Sparky? <laughs> uh, uh, he's asleep. Sparky! Eh? Pros processing. Full load. Processing baby cute surprise. Baby cute. I present to you Baby Cute, an advanced device designed for your missions. Whoa. Like a something bird, kind of cooler, alarm system, toothbrush, umbrella, ricicle bean, oh, and teleportation. Teleportation? Oh? Uh, you call this teleportation? I can just walk. Yeah. I'm an extraordinary artificial intelligence, but my resources are limited. The baby cute needs to recharge, just like me. Without energy, things don't work. Sparky! Eh? Oh, yeah. While it recharges, <gasps> you can go to the super dress room. Wow, how cool! It has everything you need for your missions. Something very important. Use it in a moderate way so you don't generate an overload in the system. I didn't understand what he said. Baby cute? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, it's me! <laughs> Impressive! A super magic mirror! Wait your turn! <laughs> now it's me! My turn. No, accessories! Are those glasses? It's my turn! No, my turn! Wow, I, I want, want it! it. <gasps> super, super baby cute! cute. I said baby cute! It's not I want it! My turn! My turn. It. Uh oh! Sparky! 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 It's broken! It's broken! Sparky! Should we give it to him? What if we use our powers to help it restart faster? Super cute! Super cute! It didn't work. Oh no, I guess Sparky is broken. <laughs> Wake up, Sparks! Am I real? Am I handsome? Sparky! Machines do not get sick that we can overload. Uh, here it is. Sustainable development. My system does not run out of it, but if it's used in excess, it is time to recover. Like the baby cute, or like the planet. Like our powers. That's right. There are natural, technological, limited, and unlimited resources. You just have to use it with moderation. And so... <sighs> you just have to let it be renewed so that... Whoa, it looks like they need to recharge. Tomorrow's gonna be a great day. <laughs> and now a little bit of water with my favorite watering can. And Little Red Riding Hood went to the beach. What? The story doesn't go like that. Mm, I just can't see. Let me handle it. Ah, my powers are getting much more stronger. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. oh no, there's no water. Nice, Kala, you are the best. Thank you. My water again! <laughs> it's my favorite water again. What's wrong with me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break it. I just wanted to save the green club. Could you forgive me? Sparky, Sophie lost her voice. Can you do something about it? If she has lost it, I can help you find it. Locating Sophie's voice. No, her voice is hoarse now. Ah, hoarseness. Let me check my database. There is a tree that cures hoarseness with the oil extracted from its leaves. The rainbow eucalyptus. Wow, how nice. Well, then it's settled. We're going to the nearest rainbow eucalyptus. Don't forget your superfood. Super cute. Poor thing, it is very sad and colorless. Shall we take a selfie? We're not partying. It 
It's a sad tree. This is not its home. What's that? I know. A dancer. A pyramid. An Egyptian tree. We have to take the tree with us. I know that movie. The Lion King. We have to get it out of here. Oh, this isn't its house. And we have to get him out of here. But where do we take it? Sparky, any ideas? There are several options, as long as it's a place with lots of water nearby. If you were a tree, where would you like to live? On the beach, all day in the sun. No, in a snowy mountain, so it can breathe in fresh air. I think we have to take it where its friends are, so it's not all alone. That's it! There! <laughs> How do we take it? It's giant! Maybe I can rip it off with a lot of wind. <sighs> I can try to make a giant wave. <gasps> it's so tiny. We must protect it. Oxygen bubble. Cha. Aquatic protection. Huh. And some sun shield. Forgive me. I have <laughs> learned an important lesson that things must be treated carefully, like the eucalyptus. Thank you! It is the nicest watering can uh, in the whole uh, wide uh. world! Why are you so close to each other? Are you cold? <laughs> Racing thermostat. Starting processors for super cute mission. It's not that sparky. I'm scared of the dark and I really can't sleep. We uh, can't either. Activating bedtime story. Once upon a time, a place where the light shines and dances in the dark. Oh, and where is this place? I want to see it. Me too. Me too. Oh, well. Activating explanation mode. Maybe they will fall asleep. This natural phenomenon is called polar aurora. Wow. But where is it? In the southern hemisphere, it is known as aurora australis. And in the north, as aurora borealis. Let's go see them. I don't know why I tell them anything. Where are the auroras? You can't even see the stars. Did you hear that? I think someone's following us. Who could live here all alone with so much cold? Come on, let's go look for the pretty lights. It Sparky, we can't see anything at all out here. Hmm, there is light pollution. With so much artificial light, you cannot see natural light. Look, the lights are coming from there. It looks like a small town, but how are we going to shut down an entire city? I got it. Piece of cake with clouds. When there are clouds, there's, there's no, no sun. sun. Super cute! Throw water at me, Kala. <laughs> to the city, Cece. Huh. <sighs> 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 the stars! <sighs> I knew someone was following us. Who 
is it? Frozen. <laughs> Does the brain even have heating? Look! Hi there! Uh, oh dear! Huh? Hello! I'm Cece! Sophie! Gabby! Gala! My... My name is Reggie! I... I had to go! I had to go back to my igloo! <gasps> An, An igloo? igloo? Wait, Wait up! Can, can we, we come, come with you? you? And we can have a slumber party! We can help you find your igloo! <gasps> this canon visitor! Don't worry! He does nothing. He will help us find the igloo. Nothing? I have multiple tasks. Locating igloo. Do you live in an igloo? All alone? Is there heating? And karaoke? <laughs> ah! <sighs> uh. <sighs> it's just the ice isn't like it used to be. That's why it's slippery. It's because of global warming. Here. You sound pretty hungry. You can drink a bit if you want. It's what we call superfood. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> There's an igloo! Locating igloo! Danger! <laughs> yeah, we saw it. It won't hurt us. He's our protector. Eminent caution! Calm down! Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Keep calm! Uh. <laughs> Snowball! Everybody, please help me! We must rescue him! Uh. Super cute! Longer. Hold on, Snowball! I wish everything would go back to the way it was. <sighs> wow. Wow, that's your superpower! You can freeze everything! <sighs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you. You have saved Snowball. And you saved the North Pole. Now you have a superpower. You are one of us now! You are super cute! You have to come with us! <laughs> well, of course! Teletransportation! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Welcome, Reggie! Now you're officially a super cute! We will have to establish some rules. Well, what do we do now? A slumber party! We got a flute! We got a flute! Oh no! We must evict a green club! We don't need to! We have our super food! Gabby, we need your hot air quickly! You got it, Cece! Our planet is full of amazing nature And we should keep it forever With our friendship, we will protect it Since our beauty is better here on our <sighs> Thank goodness! But Reggie didn't notice? Could you blow some air into my hair, please? <laughs> 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 Who forgot to shut the faucet? It wasn't me. Not me. Well, I saw you filling the watering can last night. But I shut it off. I don't want to run out of water. My plants need water. Sophie's right. 
Water is a limited resource, and it's necessary for the life of plants, animals, and human beings. We must never let faucets open. It was me, Reggie. <sighs> Last night, I was draining my superpowers, and then I went to brush my teeth. I must have left the faucet open. Why didn't you say something before? Well, I'm new here. I thought I'd be kicked out of super cuties. You will always be a super cute. <laughs> oh, do you want to play rugby? the right to leave, whatever they are. Besides, that worm has a family, and someday it will become a butterfly. Um, yeah, sure, and I am a mermaid. If it eats all what it needs and you leave it on a tree, it will become a cocoon. Cocoon what? The cocoon, it's like a little house. Oh, like my igloo. Sort of, but warmer. Inside of it, the worm grows, changes, and transforms Whoa. into a butterfly. Whoa. There's nothing happening. No, it's going to eat it. Super food time. Reggie, we must respect all living beings. That includes birds. But the bird wants to eat the cocoon. It's a um, cocoon. It's going to feed itself to grow up, just like you. Wow. 